Why has there been so little talk about Georgia on the show lately? They just won a title, right? Tommy, you're right. You're right. I never thought in a million, billion years this would be the case. That I grow up in the state of Georgia, my entire life is void of a Georgia national championship. We, through immense blessing, are able to elevate a college football show to a national level. Georgia wins a title, and we barely talked about it. You would think there's anti-bulldog bias on the show if you didn't know any better. Well, that's not the case, but the case is I don't think we're alone here. If you've looked around, there, there, I have not picked up on a whole lot of Georgia hype, period. It's just been the way of the college football world, and I don't think Kirby Smart would have it any other way. This is a perfect storm for him. I mean, you could not have dressed this up any better. I would have thought, in, in sort of a, a blind look ahead into the future, that if and when Georgia ever gets to a national championship win, they will be so hungover and complacent the following year, knowing those folks like I do, knowing the culture of that state and that program like I do, they, they will not be able to get out of their own way. You just show up to the stadium, they'll beat themselves the next year. That's how I thought it would play out. As it turns out, it's nothing like that. Kirby Smart's got exactly what he wants. He won a championship, first time in a generation, he brought a championship to his alma mater. That, they can never take away from him until the end of time. He's in the record books and history books. But then college football just decided to lose its mind immediately afterwards. And you had playoff drama the day of the game. You had playoff drama. Then you had Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher sniping back and forth. And that sucked a ton of the oxygen out of the room. NIL and the transfer portal and what we're going to do about it has dominated conversation from January until fill in the blank in the future. And also... We've got conference realignment, just bombshells left and right. You really haven't had a whole lot of time to just sit back if you're running a show. I understand you live in Bainbridge, Georgia. It's a little bit different. You're out on the back porch every night, reliving right after you watch the replay. Good for you guys. But from a national perspective, you know, that, that elixir that often leads to complacency, I don't think they've been able to ingest a whole lot of it because Kirby Smart's got what he wants. He, he won the title, and then none of the bad stuff afterwards seems to have really come. And they don't really have superstars returning on this team. They've got really good players. They got the third most talented roster in America. They don't have a bunch of bona fide superstars. In other words, they don't have a lot of guys coming back that you worry about being complacent or thinking they've arrived. Because there are a lot of guys on that team that sure enough, they were on the roster last year. They haven't earned anything. They haven't earned any kind of credit because they were behind the guys who did it last year. Even quarterback. When's the last time you saw a team win a national title, quarterback from that team returns, and no one really even looks at him as any kind of preseason favorite to do anything? It's just such a unique situation. Uh, the other thing that I would think about is it's their first one. Even Saban after his first one. They look at the 2010 team as the biggest missed opportunity in his time there. They lost three games. He didn't know how to handle it. Uh, Jimbo dealt with it after the 2013 run at Florida State. He didn't know how to handle it. And a lot of those guys, when they do it for the first time at a program, they, Urban dealt with that. There's no magic formula. This is Kirby's first time. So I don't know. I can't prove to you that they'll show up with every bit the hunger they had last year and they'll be void of complacency. It's human nature for that stuff to, to seep in. I would look at this Georgia team, though, all things considered, and I would say they've got a, an infinitely better shot of trying to duplicate some of the success they had in their title year than I ever thought they would. I mean, I thought that thing would linger over them so much the following year whenever it finally happened. And that's just not the way it's set up. So I, um, you know, I mean, they've got holes to fill. So does everyone. It's college football. But right now they've got the third best odds to win the national championship at plus 400. Bama's at plus 180. Ohio State at plus 375.